What? Oh my god. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the beautiful countryside of Finland. I did a poll in my Discord server, which you should join, link in the description below. And the two options were have a guilty conscience and have a lot of money or have no guilty conscience and have no money. And the vast majority of you guys picked have a guilty conscience and have a lot of money, which is kind of kind of messed up. But uh, you know what? I'll oblige and I will go ahead and do it. If you couldn't tell what that was referring to, when you steal Joko's briefcase, there's a chain of events that happen, and that chain of events lead to a very sad thing. We'll probably see that happen at the end of this video. So we're gonna head off and we're gonna go and try and find the, the briefcase. Okay, so it looks like one of the locations is up back here, up near the top of the field, so we'll go check that one out. I don't see it up here, so I don't I don't think it's up here. Oh there he comes. There he comes. Here I come. Here I come. Alright, one of the next locations is like right up here. It's kinda close. It's like not very in far in between, but it looks like it's over here maybe. If I was a suitcase, where would I be hidden? I don't really see anything. And I'm pretty sure there's like a bunch of hiding spots between those or behind those trees. But there's kind of one on like the shoreline of the the water. So we'll go check that one next. Um, and then we'll go check the next ones. Yeah, it's like down there or something. You gotta go out and around. Is it in the water? Oh, this one kind of looks like it might be in the water a little bit maybe. I don't know. Maybe it's further this way. Please tell me it's not in the water. Wait. Oh my god, there it is! Yo, <laughs> I mean, it is in the water, but not very much in the water. Holy Jesus. Oh my God. Woo -hoo -hoo, look at all that money. Oh my God. This is going to make everything so much easier. Well, we'll, uh, we'll be taking that. Thank you very much. Oh my God. I thought I was going to like collapse from dehydration. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to head on back home and you know, we got a bunch of parts in the parts catalog to, uh, go ahead and buy. Oh. Oh, big money, big money. You know, money, the root of all evil. What the hell did I hit? Actually, you know what? I have an idea, I have an idea, right, right. Let's go and pull this in here. What we'll do, take out everything we need, which is just the money, don't need anything else. What? What the hell? What? What the hell? Uh, what's punch? What's punch? Round one. Uh, H. Fight. Where did he come from? No! What? What is that? I can't hit him! I can't hit him! Man, that was so weird. He usually only appears behind you whenever you go to sleep. I have no clue what that was. So, I'm just gonna quickly save at Foteri's real quick. I have no clue what that was. I don't know if that was a glitch or what, but it, something happened. Something that wasn't supposed to happen happened. Here we go. Got the briefcase again. Pick some money from it. Bruh. What is going on here? All right, all right, all right, you're going down. There we go, go to sleep. It's my money now. Well, that was a, a long walk back and I picked about $30,000. It, it, it's weird, cause he's not supposed to like appear behind you at the money. He's supposed to appear behind your, like you while you're sleeping. A car of your ruins my driveway. How about you make it so it doesn't ruin my your, your driveway? We'll, we'll do repair broken engine parts. Roll cage install. Yeah, that'll be good. Take the Ferndale, hell yeah. Go on. I, I love I love classic American muscle. I forgot I can't open the back doors. Oh my god. Ooh, ooh, spinning her, spinning her. Holy crap, buddy. That's the good thing about American muscle. Get those rear wheels spinning. Only takes you about $30,000 worth of gas to do so. Uh -huh. Gotta love the oil crisis. Pedal to the metal. 
Ooh, this thing has good brakes in the front though. Even lock up on uh on pavement. This thing does not turn. Holy Jesus. She likes to spin out on you, bro. God dang. I don't think it's a great idea to have a rear wheel drive 70s American muscle in Finland where 95% of the roads are just gravel. This thing's gonna spin out on you and you're gonna hit a tree or something and blow up. Jesus. God dang, bro. Imagine bringing the old, your regular car to like Flatarius be like, hey yo, can I get a wheel alignment? Can I get like valve adjustments or something? He's like, hey yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah, if you need to drive home, just take my uh, take my muscle car on these dirt roads and try not to crash you, but if you do crash it and, and die, I'm gonna, I'm gonna auction off your car. Yeah, you're welcome. Oh no. I tried to spin it and put it in, in, in the driveway, but it didn't work. We got all money and we got the Ferndale because the Satsuma's at the shop getting work done, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, perfect spot. More money, baby. More power, baby? Nah. You got dang right, more power! More power, baby! More money, baby. Correlation cause me. 30 grand's enough, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, let's go order some brand new parts with all the money that we just found. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna, so I'm gonna get both of these tires, and you're gonna have to guess which one I do for street tires, and which one I do for rally tires. Put your guesses down below, and we'll figure it out. Yep, we definitely doing that. Mm -hmm. Rally suspension, and that should be all, that's all we need. Oh my god, you can see me drifting in that thing, American muscle style, baby. Yee. Ooh, Jesus. Putting her sideways on the highway, my god, god dang, bro. It should send this baby. 90 miles an hour, that's like 150. 90 miles an hour, oh crap, that's a turn, blows up and dies. Hellcat moment. So if you didn't know, a trend in American Muscle was to put the gas cap right back here. Sometimes under the license plate, depends. Post that. There we go. Hello, TMO. You got any spark plugs? I don't know if that's four or what, but I'm gonna take it a few. I'm gonna take an oil filter. I'm gonna take uh, more spark plugs. This thing could use a wash. This thing's kind of dirty, buddy. This kind kind of dirty. Oh my God, that's a tree. So it seems this thing is got the handling of a, a Hellcat, but the uh, the the need to kill you of a Dodge Viper. So, you know, you can tell this thing's American. Oh hell no, you don't. Come back here, buddy. You gonna get you gonna get 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 by some American muscle, baby. I ain't I ain't trying that. I'm gonna oversteer into a tree. Holy Jesus, that's a tree. Dodge Viper moment. Skirt, skirt. Oh, just like that, just like that. I always feel like you gotta save your game whenever you're driving the, the Ferndale because it always seems like there's only a like 50% chance you're gonna make it home when Satsuma it's somewhere between 0 to 90% chance you'll make it home. Oh my, what? Why are you back? Why are you back? Bruh. Bruh. What are you doing? There we go. Oh my god. One to two. Get ratioed, baby. Oh, <laughs> you look like you need a place to sleep. So there you go. Hold on. You're 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 ha you're having a tough time. You, you just need to go to sleep. Everything will be okay. Don't you worry about it. Little little pat pat. This axe. You don't need this axe. All right. So. I didn't get a call from Flatteri, but I just got launched up in the air. So I didn't get a call from Flatteri, so I checked my summer car editor. Everything was false, time was reset to like what it was. So I assume it's just done and the game either glitched out and didn't give me the call or just something happened, I don't know, but. All right, let's see. Oh, service brochure is there. So everything's all fixed. Yep, car's all here. Did he disconnect the battery? Is it broken? Oh, well, the battery's not in. That's not what I wanted to come off. That's not what I wanted to come off either. 
clearly the spark plugs weren't replaced. There we go. Not six mil bolts. Not seven mil bolts. Not ten mil bolts. All right, buckle up. Hell yeah. No more of the reaching over the shoulders. Just look straight down. Wait, what the hell is on his door? Hold on. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Fuck! No time for that. Just shove it in the back. I have no clue what just fell off, but I don't really care. That was not worth it. 